In this video, I'll be covering problems 7 and 8 on test 6 review for um, honors. All right, number 7 says the Sterling Point condos were originally valued at 110000 per condo, and due to the crime rate, the condos have lost 16% value each year. Uh, the first thing we need to do when looking at these problems again is to identify what type of equation would be appropriate. Since it says that it is losing value, we should think about our depreciation formula, y equals a times 1 minus r to the t power. It asks what is the value of a condo eight years after construction. If we don't know the value in eight years, that's our y, but we do know the original value is 110,000 and that it loses a value at a rate of 15% per year for eight years, we simply need to plug into the formula and evaluate. So in our calculator, I'm going to type in 110,000 times 1 minus 0.15 to the 8th power. And the value of the condo would be worth $29,973.96. Because we're talking about money, be sure to use your dollar sign and round to the um, hundreds place. It now says, when will the value be less than 50% of its original value? So this time, we're going to be solving for our exponent time. So when is our time? Okay. So we know that the if we bought, purchased it for 110000 and we're looking for when it will be 50% of its value, if you aren't sure, we're just dividing it in half or multiplying by 0.5. So it's going to be 55000 so we're wanting to know how long before it, it loses that value. So 1 minus 0.15, of course we could put 0.85 here, but what we're trying to solve for is time. So now we want to use our skills for solving for an exponent. First step would be to isolate your exponential. 55,000 divided by 110,000, it should be a half. And you can type in your calculator if you want. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to point, or subtract, and that's 0.85 to the t. And remember that to solve an exponential equation in which we cannot make the bases the same, we want to change it to log form. So that'll be log base 1 half. Oops, I apologize. I need to go the opposite direction. It might help you to remember that we normally see it in this form with the exponent on the left so that we get our base right. So it's log 0.85 of 1 half equals t. And to solve for t, we would need to do change of base. So t is log of 1 half divided by log of the base. Remember, the base always goes on the bottom. And we simply type it in our calculator. Log of 1 half divided by log 0.85 and we get 4.2650. Um, let's go ahead and plan to round, let's see what I did before. Round, let's round to the tenths place. So we'll call that 4.3 years. <coughs> so t equals 4.3 years. But make sure you have your work to support it. Next, um, Ms. Jackson bought a new condo for $110,000 when Sterling Point was on the up-and-coming spot to purchase a new condo. Um, when should she have sold her condo in order to maintain 80% of its value? So um, she bought it new for $110,000. Um, we know that it's depreciating at that same rate of 15% a year. We're trying to solve for when she should have sold it. So the final value was 80% of. So you can either find 80% of 110,000 to the side here like that. 0.80 times 110,000. So we're trying to figure out when, how long would it take for the value to be at 88,000. You can also put this, the, uh, this expression here over here if you like. And then we just want to go about solving it the same way we did here. So so if we do 88,000 divided by 110,000, 
that would be 0 0.8, which should make sense because we want 0 0.8 for 80% of its value, equals 0.85 to the t power. Again, 0.85 to the t power equals 0.8. When we convert it to log form, it's going to be log base 0.85 of 0.8 equals t. Using our change of base formula, we'll call that log of 0.8 over log of 0.85 and type it in our calculator. And we get one point, let's run to the tenth place again, 1.4 years. Man, she wouldn't be able to keep a property very long then. All right, so those are our answers for problem seven. Let's go ahead and move on to number eight. Um, it says Pitt County's population in 2010 was 168,148. The population increases exponentially at a rate of 5.9% per year. Write the function that represents the population in any given year. So we are dealing with um, population growth, so we want to be thinking about, and again we're given a percentage, so we want to be thinking about the formula A times 1 plus R to the T power. Um, our function, it could be population as a function of time. So come up with some function notation there. Population as a function of time where our initial population was 168,148. 1 plus our rate as a decimal. Remember to take your percentage and divide by 100%. And that gives you 0 0.059. So 0 0.059 to the t power, but of course I do want to have this combined, so please write it as p of t equals 168,148,000, I said that all wrong, 168,148 times 1.059 to the t power, so that would be our population function. Then it asks for part b, in what year will the population reach 195,000? So that we want to plug in for P of T. So 195,000 equals 168,148 times 1.059 to the T power. To solve this, we're going to need to divide out by A. And then we'll end up doing the same thing we did with 7, B, and C. So we have 195,000. Divide by 168,148. And so what I think I'm going to do here to make it precise is store it as x. Remember, we have it had it on uh, 4 earlier, but that value is really an irrational value. So um, I'm going to keep that value as x and come over here and say x equals 1.059 to the t. Um, if it helps you switch it around so your exponent is on the left, you're going to convert it to log form. So that would be log base 1.059 to the x power equals t. Don't get that confused as another variable. That's just the value here in our calculator that we got from dividing this ratio. So that would be log of x divided by log 1.059 so log of x divided by log 1.059 so um, time would equal 2.6 years um, it does however say in what year so please be careful it doesn't say how long so if you think 2.6 years from 2010 2011, 2012, it's going to be in the middle of 2011, 2012, so it will occur in the year 2011. So please just be cautious. Let's see, 2.6, 10, 11, 12, I'm sorry, 2012. Please do not round that to three years and make it 2013. So again, 
all I'm doing is taking 2010 and adding, if you add 2.6 years, it'd be in the middle of the year 2012, okay? So 2012 is our answer. Next, it says, how long before the population exceeds 225,000? So 225,000 as our final amount, our initial amount, same rate of growth. Two twenty five thousand divided by one sixty eight, one forty eight. We get another irrational value, so again, I'm going to just store it as x. So we end up with one point oh five nine to the t power equals x, which was this number. Convert it to log form, so we're going to end up having um, log base. 1.059 of x using our change of base formula log of x divided by log 1.059 and 5.1 years so how many years 5.1 years all right and that concludes uh, 7 and 8 on your test review